What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about what is going on with this channel, what's going to be happening in the future, uh, and kind of give you a little preview of what videos from now on might look like. So typically, in the past, over the past like 3-4 years that I've been posting uh, gameplay on this channel, posting content on this channel, you've seen gameplay of Call of Duty or, hey let me turn, I have a, I have a heater on and it's just too hot in here. So you typically you've seen Call of Duty gameplay or some other gameplay, but 99% has been Call of Duty and then my little face in the webcam. And if you watch my last video, then you kind of have an idea of what is happening moving forward with this channel. Um, but I think this is going to be the setup that I have or something very similar to it. I think I have to edit the, the brightness levels and things because I think the screens behind me are way brighter than probably my face. Um, so I have to tweak that. Obviously, I'm not really used to doing videos videos like this so this is like a quick setup um, but I got this guy uh, yesterday this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, it's got the touch bar it has the processor uh, upgrade it also has 16 gigs of RAM 512 gigabyte solid state drive space gray and uh, this is what I'm gonna be using to edit my videos in the future uh, primarily videos from my iPhone which is what I'm recording with here the iPhone 10s max only 64 gigs um, because, well, I didn't think I'd be recording with it. But anyway, as you can see behind me, we've got this screen here, which tells you to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and turn on notifications, which you probably have already done because I already know you guys are the real MVPs and there's no way that you've been looking at the screen for the past couple minutes and you haven't done it already. So of course, you know, that is self-explanatory. You don't even have to worry about that. And then up here, we've got my social media links. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. Um, I also have Snapchat and uh, I don't really use it, so I didn't put it on there, but you can add me on Snapchat if you want. Here, we've got another monitor. This, as you can see, is the Revolution uh, series by my boy Sess. What I think I'm going to do is actually have this monitor and I might change this amount around. So this is like video one, so I might edit all this, but this might be the gameplay monitor and that might be the, you know, I might just switch those two. Um, but I figured it'd be cool to have at least one monitor around me showing some sort of gameplay footage, whether it's Call of Duty or literally any other game. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool just as like a background thing to look at. If you get tired of looking at my face, you can kind of peek over there and look at some Call of Duty gameplay that's better than any gameplay that I've probably ever posted to the internet. Um, or, you know, you've got bright colors and pretty things to look at. So this formula may change. It likely will change. I'll probably change the graphics and, um, you know, try to keep it updated and fresh so that way it's not like too boring. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know, do that, uh, that, that second one right over here. Comment down below telling me what you think about this setup, if I should change it. I also have hue lights in my room so I can tell, hey Siri, change the lights to blue. And there we go, boys. We're in a blue room. So that's kind of like how we're how we're gonna do it. Um, I, I can do kind of whatever I want with the lighting. So maybe I'll do something like this. So yeah, I can change the lighting to different colors to maybe match some of the stuff that's behind me. But regardless, I wanted to bring you guys this video just to give you an update on what's going on uh, with the channel, what I'm gonna be doing moving forward. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this kind of gets me back in the habit of making videos and getting excited to make videos. Um, and I want to touch about uh, on that topic. Uh, real quick I want to talk about playing games video games gaming in general in my life uh, if you guys saw my last video you know that I haven't been playing video games pretty much since Black Ops 4 came out I played Black Ops 4 for maybe three weeks or so I was playing it often um, and then that was pretty much it I haven't played many video games since then I got the new Smash Bros I got uh, I finally beat Breath of the Wild but other than that I haven't been playing video games and it's it makes it hard to have a gaming channel so but I want to keep creating videos so I decided that this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna change the style up hopefully you guys like this idea this setup and of course you'll tell me in the comments if you hate it um, but I haven't been enjoying Call of Duty lately now that's not to say that I'm not gonna ever post gameplay content on this channel uh, ever again because you know this in 2019 I'm anticipating uh, seeing a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remaster which obviously I'm gonna purchase so you know we could be talking about that a, quite a bit on the channel and I could be posting gameplay of Modern Warfare 2 remastered if it comes out later this year 
which I, I imagine it will. So uh, I'm not saying that I'm no longer posting Call of Duty content or gameplay content or anything like that. Um, but I just, I don't play Call of Duty. I don't really play video games very frequently. So I don't want to have my channel kind of based on me playing video games. If A, I'm not really enjoying it, cause then, you know, I'm not gonna do it often. And B, I want it to be authentic, right? Like if I'm gonna post a video, I wanna actually be excited about the content that I'm making and not just putting out a video cause I feel like I have to or whatever the case might be. So we're changing the style. We're changing it all, and I want to talk about you know some of the reasons that I think that I'm not into Call of Duty anymore. Um, there's a multitude of reasons, and I think some of them maybe apply to you guys as well. They probably apply to a lot of my uh, viewers or fans or friends who you know have also quit playing Call of Duty in the past, whether it was in the last couple of months or if it was in the last couple of years. I'm sure you guys can relate to some of the things that I'm going through right now with the franchise, and you know this probably applies to other franchises as well. I know right now World of Warcraft is experiencing is experiencing a huge kind of a uh, you know player backlash to uh, the latest expansion that just came out um, I don't remember Battle for Azeroth is what it's called I know like that whole thing so if you guys play WoW maybe you're experiencing the same thing with WoW uh, I know a lot of people are uh, quitting League of Legends um, so you know it, it, this this happens a lot with a lot of different games and I think uh, Call of Duty for me is kind of just it's run its course because I think the franchise has has shifted so much in 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 a certain direction that I'm no longer their their demographic that they're that they're going towards. Um, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2: Big Red One for the PlayStation 2. Um, so I've been playing this game for a very very long time, and uh, finally, you know, like Infinite Infinite or what is it? Infinite Warfare. And uh, see, I always forget that game exists. And, and World War II were just so bad. And Advanced Warfare also was just terrible. That's kind of like where it started, but Black Ops 3 was good. Um, and, but, but Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I was really hoping would, would save it for me. And I think it did save it for some people, but uh, it didn't really hit it home for me. And I think there's a couple of reasons why. Um, I think that the formula for Call of Duty now is so overdone and so simplified that I just can't enjoy it. It's just, there's no substance to it anymore uh, for me to actually enjoy. And I feel like a lot of times when I'm getting into gunfights, it's really a coin toss of whether or not I win that gunfight or not, or it's based on connection. Either way, I don't really feel like skill is involved too much with the gunfights in Black Ops 4. Now, I will say that competitive is a completely different thing. If you play competitive in Black Ops 4 or any Call of Duty game, it's a totally different game than jumping into pubs because there's different rules. You're playing against different calibers of, of players. You're playing with friends and with teammates, which completely changes how the game works. Um, so that's totally different. And if you guys play competitive, more power to you guys. I wish I could get into competitive because I think it's really, really awesome. And that's obviously the future of Call of Duty. Um, but for me, I can't, I just can't get into competitive. So, you know, just playing pubs, it's very frustrating when I don't feel like gunfights are fair or not really even on, it's not that they're unfair. It's just that they're random. I just, you know, I play a lot of free for all. I play a lot of team deathmatch and I'm just, I get into gunfights where I'm just like, I die and, and I know that there was nothing more I could have done. Even if the situation felt like it was heavily stacked in my favor, I still tend to lose gunfights. And you know, for a new player, you could just say, oh, well, yeah, you just have to get better. But I've been playing Call of Duty for so many years now that skill is not, it's not a thing, right? And I'm not saying I'm a good, like I'm not a top tier competitive player, uh, but I know how Call of Duty works. I'm very familiar with the game and I'm definitely above average when it comes to skill level. And yet I still find that I'm, you know, I'm just getting into gunfights where there's just nothing I could do about losing that gunfight. And it's very frustrating. Um, and you know, I think a lot of that has to do with the Call of Duty formula. I think that, and this may be a conspiracy, but I, I feel like Call of Duty has been catering to players that aren't very good when they jump into pubs. And I think that they want everyone to kind of get as close to a 1K as possible. And by doing that, you kind of take some skill away. And that way the bad players still kind of break even. And I feel like they're, they're doing okay. Uh, but it makes the average player, the people that are a little bit above average, it pulls them down. So you still have those God tier players like Korean Savage, where they're just super, super God level whatever they eat for breakfast, I would like to know, but uh, they are God level and they still do well. Um, but the terrible players at the bottom and then the people that are right around average and a little bit 
better than average they all kind of get lumped into the center uh, and it, right around that one KD mark and it just makes it not fun you know it, it just feels like I said it feels like a coin toss it feels 50 50 if I get into a one-on-one -on -one engagement it feels like no matter what I have done uh, it feels like that gunfight is out of my control I also think the map design has been really bad the past couple of years. I think that they're very small and they're focused on making the game very fast paced. And also they've, they've posted, they've said publicly that they're trying to achieve the state of flow for the player, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like a state of mind when you're playing something and you kind of just like are, you know, you've heard the phrase of just being in, in the in the zone basically um, they kind of build their game and their maps around trying to get players into that mindset uh, and what it does it, it just makes the maps very fast paced and it takes away a lot of the variability that could happen in an older Call of Duty game where you know and I brought this argument up a bunch of times so I'm not gonna go into it but you know older maps in let's say Modern Warfare 2 for example there were bigger maps. You could go into different corners of the map and hang out there for five, six, seven minutes of a game and no one will ever find you because you're just chilling over there doing nothing. The maps were multi-laned and they just they varied in all sorts of different ways. There were different buildings and different everything that you could go in. Uh, and some places were only accessible with one or two routes. So you could really hold down a section of the map by yourself. That's missing from Call of Duty. It's it's clearly missing and not only that we are missing sound so footstep volume is not very great kill streaks are terrible they've been terrible for years and that's something that actually made call of duty what it is um and that's gone kill streaks are gone they're just garbage or they're so hard to get that it's so unlikely that you'll get them often that it's not worth running them you might as well just run something cheaper um that way you can get it every game or you know most games so it seems like all the things that good players use to their advantage, that being map control, that being footsteps and sound and different volumes and quote unquote sound whoring, and also really stacking kill streaks and just pounding uh, pounding players, like pounding them in the sense of like really big, okay, all right, never mind. That's all missing. All that stuff is missing and that's what made me fall in love with Call of Duty and it's been missing for years now and Black Ops 4 was the one game that I thought maybe it would fix it all and it didn't at least not for me some people love this game and you know if you're if you haven't if you've been playing the game for only a couple of years if you if you're relatively new to call of duty like let's say you started call of duty in advanced warfare or something um you probably love black ops 4 and you probably think i'm an idiot and that's fine and i get that but when i I've, I've played what made me love the game is totally different from the last couple of call of duties and it just gotten to the point where it's so many years in a row now that I've been disappointed that it's like, what else am I going to do? Like, what could I possibly do to keep loving this game? And the answer is nothing. I really can't. I think Blackout is trash. I honestly, the whole Battle Royale thing, I don't really understand that. It, a lot of it's just running around an, uh, an empty map, um, which isn't fun for me. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It, there's a lot of downtime in those games and I find it boring to watch and I find it boring to play and therefore I'm not going to play it. Um, so I think Blackout isn't really up my alley. Um, Call of Duty hasn't been up my alley for the past couple of years. Zombies is zombies. Uh, you know, it, zombies, it's hard for me to play zombies because I don't have a goal. It's just like survive as long as you can, which, you know, how many times can I post a video of a zombies gameplay before you guys just get sick of seeing it? So yeah i'm pretty much done with call of duty um they've failed the past couple years in my eyes they've done just a terrible job for so long um i think they're really focusing on esports now which i don't blame them because esports uh and just so you know this video is gonna loop so if we reach the end you'll see text on the screen on loop. um but they're focusing on esports and you know i don't blame them like i said some of the biggest games in the world right now are big because of esports obviously you know league of legends dota Counter-Strike, you know, there's these massive tournaments for these games. I um, mean, I think Call of Duty is shifting towards that, which again, that's fine, but that's not what uh, I'm playing, right? Competitive Call of Duty is different from pubs completely. It's a different, the game feels different. The game flows different. You're versing players that are different, they play differently. And if I'm not playing Call of Duty, I'm not gonna watch competitive, right? Like if I'm not into the game, why would I watch the competitive season? It, just, it, does, I have, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care who wins because I haven't been watching. I've been playing Call of Duty. I don't care what's, what's going on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't get into Call of Duty and there's no other games that I'm like addicted to. Um, and that's the big thing. Now, the second thing is, uh, gaming doesn't really fit into my life right now. Like, uh, you know, I feel very focused on trying to, 
you know, be improve myself, if that makes any sense, you know, like personal development and like be start to be like a, a better person in terms of like productivity. And, you know, I'm attempting to either shift my career or advance it, whichever one I can feasibly do first and whichever one makes the most sense for me, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Um, so just, you know, gaming just doesn't really fit into my life right now. Um, because I'm so busy on other things and so focused on other things. Um, but I want to keep making YouTube videos because I'm the type of person where I have to keep, I have to keep creating something. There's always got, there has to be something that I'm working on, um, that like draws my attention. Right. And you know, YouTube for the past couple of years has been that, right? Like when I get to the, when I get stuck and I'm like, what do I do today? What do I do on my day off? I've got some free time. I like to work on something that, you know, feels productive, but is also fun, like a passion project or a hobby. Um, and you know, YouTube has been that. So I want to try and rekindle that relationship with my hobby uh, that is making videos um, without the gaming portion, right? You know, obviously this is still gonna be, I'm still in that uh, environment. I'm still in that niche, right? I'm still gonna be submerged in gaming culture. I have a whole shelf here of video games and amiibo and you know all sorts of stuff so you know that's still part of my personality so i'll probably still talk about gaming on this channel topics related to gaming new games coming out gaming news tech news everything like that but i want to shift it away from focusing on the gameplay and focusing on call of duty right i want to shift it to be a little bit more broad so i can reach a newer audience uh and not feel so boxed into a game that i don't really like anymore um and i haven't liked for a while so that is pretty much it i definitely rambled more than i wanted to in this video but i just wanted to touch on what um oh look we got to the uh we got to the end of the video we can kind of skip forward and pass that little seizure warning that he put in there. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm thinking as far as a new setup goes. This is not permanent or set in stone. Um, if you if it goes over well with you guys, like if you guys like this, if this is aesthetically pleasing, of course, like I'm gonna have to figure out the lighting a little bit better. Um, but if this looks okay to you and you're cool with it, uh, then I'll stick with it. Again, maybe I'll switch the small screen and the big screen. Who knows? Maybe that's too distracting for you and I'll put something else other than Call of Duty. Maybe I'll put something a little bit more mellow over here. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that uh, I have to switch my formula for my videos and um, that is going to be this. This is this is my this is my first attempt at switching it up, and uh, it's a little weird, you know. I think uh, I think I you maybe I feel I feel like I'm talking different than I normally do. Maybe because I'm so far from the camera, and I'm not really confident that I know what you're seeing. So it's a little weird. Also, my mic is farther than it usually is, so I feel like I have to project more. Um, and I'm not really I can't see myself, right? Like typically, I have a webcam and I can see me in the webcam. So I kind of get like some instant feedback of like what my face is doing and if my hair looks weird in certain areas. But regardless, um, if this goes over well, there's a huge fly right there, dude. It's the middle of, it's the middle, it's the middle of January. And I almost said September because the past few months have flown by. There's flies, dude. I uh, just my life. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this clears up a little bit about what's going on with my channel, what you can come to expect moving forward. Drop in the comment section below what you think about this setup. Obviously like the video. You already know what to do, homie. Like the video, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Um, and also comment down below if you know if you're if you're comfortable with with the direction that this channel is moving in. Tell me some things that you'd want me to talk about, some things that you might find interesting for me to discuss for you guys. You know, uh, I can maybe do a Q&A. If you want me to do a Q&A, put some questions in the comment section below. But that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.